Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today's reading is for you, Virgo. How are you doing, Virgo? Come on in, take a seat, get you some snacks, get you some water, and let's be great, okay? We're going to be over here minding our own business for the next 15 minutes. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take a second and give it a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Let's find out what's going on with you, Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Let's start off, Virgo, by finding out how you're feeling about your relationship status. How is Virgo feeling currently, Spirit, about their relationship? We have the devil in reverse. Okay, so you could be wanting to detach here. You may realize that you're in a negative, toxic, codependent relationship. And it looks like you're ready to be free. I have a Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I don't know if this is the person that you're wanting to be free from, whether your person is pursuing you, or if this is someone new. But we will keep going. We'll see if it comes out. How is Virgo feeling currently about their person? Ace of Wands in reverse. Is the love lost, Virgo? Virgo say, I don't want you no more. I'm not attracted to you anymore. I don't want to have sex with you anymore. I am done. Empress in reverse. We've tried everything that I can think of here and we just can't make it work. So I'm ready to move on. All right. How does your person feel about the relationship currently, Virgo? How does Virgo's person feel about the relationship? That was a death card, guys. That must have turned over while I was shuffling for you. So again, you're wanting it to be over. But how is Virgo's person? How are they feeling about the relationship? Eight of Wands. <laughs> They're ready to move on. They're ready for some type of change here. And they want it to be a successful change. They're wanting to, to be with you here. They're wanting to move forward, though. They're wanting to possibly start over. They have something to say here with this Ace of Swords. Or that can indicate that a truth came out. All right. How is Virgo's person feeling about Virgo? right now how are they feeling about Virgo we have the seven of cups so they are confused so they are maybe trying to decide between you and someone else Virgo Whew. all right so this is your person they are a player I don't think that you have anyone new in your energy Virgo um I think that this is your person this is your person your person is communicating with other people here and they, this seven of cups is not in the reverse. So they have not said, yes, I only want Virgo here. That's not the energy that I'm getting here. That is not the energy that I'm getting. I see your person being very foolish and giving to other people here. Let's find out what the overall energy is in your relationship. What's the overall energy between Virgo and their person? All right, page of swords in reverse. Some things aren't clear or this could indicate that you guys aren't communicating or that you have a hard time communicating. This could also indicate lies. Maybe there's lies um, going back and forth between the two of you, especially with this devil energy being here, you know, mirroring each other, doing the same things to each other. Maybe you guys have both cheated on each other here. But let's find out what why this page of swords is here. Why is the page of swords here? For the overall energy we have the moon lies deception conflict trust issues bottom of the deck the eight of cups so whatever is going on between the two of you it looks like you know it's something that you're ready to walk away from again maybe you've tried everything that you can try here and you love the person very much but you understand that you're never going to be completely happy with this person in the energy of this Eight of Cups in reverse. But it is in the reverse, guys. So this can indicate either you are resisting leaving or you have left and you're wanting to go back or you think about going back, being tempted to go back with this devil energy. Because <clears throat> it, do, um, it does look like you guys have <laughs> a great sex life here, but don't get caught up in that, Virgo. 
You can always find that with someone else. Let's find some obstacles and challenges in your relationship. Other than these trust issues here and fidelity issues. What are the challenges here? We have the Ace of Cups. The challenge is how you guys love each other. The challenge is how you guys love each other. Knight of Swords in reverse. So your person doesn't know how to be faithful here. Their person is has a reckless energy in this Knight of Swords energy. They do whatever they want to do. Looks like they are possibly sleeping with whoever they want to sleep with here. And it's possible that is <laughs> multiple people here. And you may already know that, Virgo, with this Ace of Swords being here. Your person could have lied about it with the Page of Swords being here. But the truth came out that they were deceiving you and you walked away. This person has been stressing you out here. And you're just about tired. You're ready to move on. I just saw the fool. All right. Well, let's find out a possible outcome here. What's the potential outcome between Virgo and their person? We have the Ten of Wands. We have a Knight of Coins. We have a King of Wands in reverse. Mm, Virgo, maybe you are talking to someone else. We'll see. Let me keep going. What's the potential outcome between Virgo and their person? We have the sun in reverse. The nine of wands in reverse. And we have the four of wands in reverse. On the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of swords and it's in the reverse. So this is good. So this is about, you know, depression, being stressed out, having a lot of negative thoughts in regards to the relationship, being stuck in your head, you know, about what has happened here, being very burdened with the energy of this nine and this 10 of swords. But the 10 of swords is it's, you know, I'm ready to release this burden. OK, I'm ready to let go of this commitment here. But this nine of wands energy, you know, that's about needing to set boundaries with your person that you did not set. You did not set boundaries with your person. You just kind of hoped and wished that things would just work out here. But it's not looking like things are working out here. I do have this king of wands here in the reverse. That can indicate, again, a highly sexual person, you know, having some infidelity issues here. But you have a knight of coins here in your energy. Let's go in and pull a few cards for this knight of coins, Virgo. This is somebody coming in that, you know, is patient. They take their time, but they're reliable. It's an offer that you can count on. I have the eight of coins in reverse, the five of cups in reverse. Tell me about this knight of coins. We have the page of wands. Okay, so this is definitely new. We have the two of wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Choice between two, but not moving forward with someone, which I feel like is your past person. But let's see what else is here. We have the two of swords needing to make a decision here between two people. Five of cups in reverse, moving on from past sadness. Ooh, nine of cups. Uh-oh, guys. So Virgo, if you are connecting with someone new, you're really enjoying this person. Or if this is someone new coming in, you will enjoy um, spending time with this person. And I have the four of pentacles, but it's in a reverse. So this is an energy of, again, letting go, but being very happy with one of these options here. Let's find out why this eight of coins is here. Why is the eight of coins here in the reverse? It's attached to this page of wands. So this could be your person. Yeah. So guys, <laughs> I know you can kind of see it on camera. You have the Hierophant in reverse, the Two of Cups in reverse, and the Queen of Wands. This is definitely infidelity. This is the other man, the other woman. 
This is showing the imbalance in your connection. This is showing that the relationship in your home life is unstable and insecure. That's why this eight of coins is here in reverse. Your partner wasn't doing the right thing. I feel like your partner wasn't doing the right thing here, Virgo. I think that the Knight of Pentacles could also be your energy, which it is. Um, and that could indicate that you were doing what you needed to do in a relationship to try and work things out here. But you're finally coming into um, a, a different perspective. You're finally moving on. You're finally freeing yourself. Look, guys, Eight of Swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck. All right, tell me about this mm, page of wands. And we have temperance. So again, you guys are getting along well. Um, if you have not met this person, they are coming. I feel like you guys may not have met this person with you being in a reverse here. But I have the lovers here and I have the three of cups in reverse with the knight of wands, the empress in reverse, and the emperor in reverse. So again... I don't see you guys coming back um, and reconciling with your past person, but you do have new love here. This is someone that you're going to have a very passionate connection with, very passionate with this page of wands. This is someone who is serious. They are not playing here. I have the king of cups on the bottom of the deck. This is your new love, guys, and I do see you having to make a choice you have the two of pentacles, the two of swords, and the two of wands. You're going to have to make a choice between old and new. That's just what it is. I have the nine of pentacles. Some of you may be feeling like you just want to be single right now. Maybe you're not ready for commitment right now. Maybe you are willing, <coughs> willing to be friends for right now. But I do see you spending time with someone here. Virgo, someone is coming in offering love to you. This could indicate that you're going on dates, going to meet for coffee, taking bike rides together, taking hikes together, and you do feel a connection or you will feel a spiritual connection with this person. All right. Let's get some messages for Virgo. Virgo is seeking stability here. Security. Trying to find stability and security and trying to heal. Trying to move on from this ending here. Uh-oh, we have the date card, guys. Meeting someone new. Possibly dating online, but talking to someone new. Paradise. And again, I feel like that is about you being happy and enjoying that person. All right, Virgo. Ooh, Cupid's arrow. Being struck by love. I don't think you're going to see it coming, but someone's coming in, Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. Mirror. I said you guys were mirroring each other. Again, though, this is also about self-reflection and doing some introspection and trying to heal inner wounds. Addiction. There's that codependent energy. Messages for Virgo. We have heartbroken. You know, your person really hurt you. There's a lot of pain and sadness here. Feeling lost. Wedding rings. Some of you could have been married. This can also indicate, guys, that you're preparing for a union. So again, I think this is hinting to someone coming in. We have healthy choices. I feel like, Virgo, you finally learn how to love yourself. You're probably focusing on yourself at this time, not giving your energy to, you know, this, this person that you've been in a relationship with, karmic relationship at that, someone that you're supposed to just get a lesson from and move on. Virgo. I have not enough. All right. So again, I do feel like this, what this is related to infidelity. You know, your person cheating on you may have made you feel like 
you're not enough. You know, what you do in a connection, who you are, what you have to offer is not enough. And I'm here to tell you, Virgo, it's a lie. It's the biggest lie ever told. Your person could be just, you know, manipulative, manipulative. And maybe they have manipulated you into thinking that everything is your fault here. You know, and I just feel a sense of frustration here. A sense of frustration is here. I have poker face on the bottom of the deck. This is about wanting to take a risk. Wanting to take a risk and also having several options. Let's see what else we have on the bottom of the deck. Karmic relationship again. And cut down. I'm also now looking at the ascending card. This is moving on, growing, expanding, preparing for union. All right, before we go, let's get you some Infinity Oracle messages, Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. We have healthy boundaries. Very important, guys. You need to learn how to set healthy boundaries. Messages for Virgo. We have keep the faith. You have union. <laughs> union, guys. Keep the faith. You guys have someone coming in, I'm telling you. Take a risk. There's that risk again. Right here under poker face. Take a risk. Messages for Virgo. Twin flame. Twin flame. That could be why all that passion was there, guys. Spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening. Some of you are going through a spiritual awakening. Hidden emotions. Hidden emotions. That doesn't serve you, Virgo. Epiphany. Don't hide your emotions. Your emotions are very important and they matter. Let's get you one more message. With this spiritual awakening and epiphany card coming up again, I think that you will struggle with this decision for a little bit, but ultimately I think that you will decide to move forward and you are connecting with spirit and spirit is connecting with you. We have messages from spirit. They're trying to help you with this decision. We have family concerns. There could be a lot of things that, you know, you have to take into account here. It's not so easy to just up and leave. You know, again, with the marriage card coming out, some of you are married. You've been together for a long time. And you can't just walk away. You can't just do that. There are some concerns there. But Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition. And you have closure here. I do see an apology here for some of you. From, your, from this person from whoever you're, this old person is. But again, I see you being tempted to stay, being confused. You don't really know what to do here, but Spirit's gonna help you guys. Most importantly, listen to your intuition. All right, that's been your reading, Virgo. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. All right, Virgo, have a wonderful weekend and I'll catch you on your next read.